before we start up, check out The Dork Album Volume 1. You can pre-order it now right off of Indiegogo. Support the channel. Let's do the thing. Learn a little sense. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Yo, yo, yo. This is Dorky Diggity Dave. And today we're talking about a little bit of a quick tip. Now, it could be a quick tip for you. Maybe you like to do this. Maybe you don't. But uh, the unit conversion for your donations, uh, for the most part, is usually pretty expensive, right? Um, like if you try to go here in gold, you know, for every one unit you're dropping, you know, it's uh, 320 gold. That's pretty awful. Um, you know, if I were to type in here like uh, 65, let's see, 65 units, boom. That's 20,800 gold. That's awful, right? Let's take a look at uh, loyalty. Now here in loyalty, same thing, 65, boom. That gives me 6,500 loyalty. That is also really awful. But what I think a lot of people don't know is that the conversion between battle chips and units is actually pretty good. Check it out. For every unit that I drop in, that's 550 battle chips, right? And uh, battle chip donation uh, is usually it's pretty stressful for people because you have to do arena in order to get that done. That's 35,000 uh, battle chips right there at uh, 65 units, okay? So uh, I have a proposition for people that have a problem with uh, getting gold and if you have a few units uh, to spare, uh, I would say use your battle chips as uh, crystal openings, get the gold there, possibly get lucky with some units and that let that pay for your donations uh, because check this out so I took in 50,000 battle chips I just popped five crystals this is an uncollected and as you can see I got a hundred and twenty thousand gold uh, which if you were to do 120,000 gold with units it would cost you somewhere around like 350 or 375 units which is pretty crazy so right there I gained 120,000 gold unfortunately I didn't get units but I do have extra gold now there are some cases where you do get units and that works out really well now this really all comes down to the difference between uh, arena crystals and uncollected arena crystals now you will probably get a little bit more gold with the uncollected ones so if you have a lot of battle chips um, you could take a few more chances uh, and you'll also have a good chance to get uh, some units as well now usually you'll end up with 75 units at the bare minimum uh, if you do get units I mean I know there is a great option to get zero <laughs> but you will get a lot of gold for your trouble and for me I would say instead of throwing in you know 35,000 or 50,000 battle chips I think it's better to get the gold that you get from it if you're struggling with gold that is but if you do have battle chips to spare that means you probably don't have a gold problem anyway but hey either way um, units is a very easy way to get battle chips in and you can also use your battle chips here so I've got 25,000 uh, battle chips right now I'm just gonna pop 10,000 real quick in the regular arena crystals and just see what I get BAM look at that right there I ended up with a Punisher I got 75 units and 3,000 gold right I've already got my donations covered with uh, somewhere between 60 and 65 units that's already done that's an easy easy win um, and uh, and then I just got to give my gold and my uh, my loyalty but anyway I just thought it'd be a good idea to throw that option out to you because sometimes people don't always think of that um, and if you're looking for more units uh, with a short amount of uh, battle chips try going with the regular arena crystals if you're looking for more gold for your battle chips I would say go for the uncollected ones because it is 10,000 uh, battle chips each crystal so you do have more chance to proc units here um, and that can partially pay for your donation so anyway if you haven't thought about doing that before um, you know this is another option let me know what you guys think about that have you tried this have you been doing it are you aware of the conversion of units over to battle chips because it is actually not that bad so if you don't like grinding arena too much you can just get those uh, milestones get some very basic units and throw that down as your battle chips and then use your battle chips for gold and uh, you can uh, you know kind of outsmart the system just a little bit anyway hope you liked the video and if you did go ahead and click subscribe click like leave a comment share it with your friend share it with your mama all that stuff helps me out and remember stay dorky and I'll catch you on the flip oh potamus Learn a little sense. Take a lesson. Learn it all.